A0 is a term created by the city of Cape Town in 2018. Having been in a drought for years, this is the day Cape Town would have to turn off their water taps. No more water available in resident homes. For them, that day never happened. For Mexico City, that day is only a few months away. But that doesn't make sense. I mean, the Spaniards built Mexico City over the ancient Aztec city of Tenochtitlan. And if you haven't looked at your poster of Tenochtitlan lately, it was on top of a 2,200 square mile lake. Sure, the Spaniards drained the lake after Mexico City was built, but the Valley of Mexico has been flooding for the past 500 years. The city flooded in 1604, and then again in 1607, then this guy, Enrico Martinez, took a break from being translator for the Spanish Inquisition. Inquisition. Enrico built tunnels that would drain water from the city. It worked great until it rained, and then the city promptly flooded for the next five years. It wasn't until 1967 that Mexico City built several hundred kilometers of drain tunnels and successfully sent water away from the city. The result of that draining system is catastrophic. Mexico's environment has shifted from lush to arid. Mexico City continues to drain any rainwater while pulling 70% of the water they do use from an underwater aquifer. That water is quickly running out due to overuse and a lack of rain to replenish the aquifer. Some water taps and homes have already run dry. Gangs tap into the water reserves to distill water meant for residents. Even if that wasn't the case, only half of the water is making it to homes anyways because the city's plumbing is leaking so badly. Thankfully though, Cape Town has shown us that when a city takes these issues seriously and bands together, when people are willing to do what it takes to lower water usage, when groundwater sources can replenish themselves, everything can return to normal and Mexico City Mayor Batres says the water crisis is a lie and that the service of drinkable water in Mexico is guaranteed in the short, medium, and long term. Wait, really? What's going on? I don't understand why he- Aw oh, crud, it's an election year? With city elections happening later in June of this year, very few city officials are willing to speak up about the water issues that they're experiencing, let alone take ownership for them. For city officials who are up for re-election, everything is just fine. Residents have challenged government officials to drink the water that does make it out of their water taps. Nobody's taken them up on that yet. Now there's a lack of water, poor quality of water, and city officials doing very little to fix the situation. The result? Many residents have to line up in the street and wait for trucks to bring water from outside of town. They fill up whatever containers they can carry. However, no matter how careful Mexico City residents are, the groundwater below the city will still continue to run out. They aren't the only ones using the water. Soft drink companies and breweries have bottling factories in Mexico City. These factories use 90 billion liters of water a year. Of that 90 billion liters, they pull 50 billion liters of water directly from public reservoirs. Yet despite all of Mexico City's problems, running out of water isn't really specific to just Mexico. There are cities all across the world running out of water, many for the same exact issue. An issue that might be the biggest reason why Mexico City is beginning to run dry. Concrete. Concrete is the second most consumed product in the world, second to only water. And that may just be because water is used to make concrete. Three tons of concrete is poured every year for every one person on the earth. We refer to major cities like New York or San Francisco or Hong Kong as concrete jungles, and for valid reasons. With concrete being so versatile and cheap, it's still one of the most used building materials today. But that's exactly the problem. Ideally, underground aqueducts used by cities would fill up from rainwater, restoring the amount of water people can use. Yet concrete and asphalt are poured out for roads and sidewalks and buildings, and that prevents that water from penetrating the ground and reaching those aqueducts. The result is that countless cities, as they grow and use more concrete, limit their water supplies each year, all following the fate of Mexico City. This means that the actual long-term solution for Mexico isn't better plumbing. Nor is it about stopping bottling companies from using up water or being really conservative with water usage. Those things help, but really it's creating space in cities for rain to replenish aqueducts, which is literally what Mexico City officials are doing despite the election conflict. The city is canceling plans for a $13 billion international airport to instead build the largest urban park in the world. If it works, it might just be the first step in saving millions of people from ever seeing day zero.